What's going on guys and welcome back to the action figure challenge. Not another veteran channel. That's right, we are back doing the action figure challenge series. It's been a while. Life this past year was kind of crazy. We made a movie. Um, the attic invaders were busy invading attics, so I thought, what a way to end the year by bringing back the action figure challenge. If you're new to the channel and you haven't watched any of these uh, challenges, I'm going to put the links to those videos down below, so check those out. The point of the action figure challenge is for me to find things in the wild to resell in order to purchase the remaining vintage team and T figures I need for my collection. Another really cool thing about this challenge is that you guys can take what I do and apply it to whatever you need. If that's uh, making extra money, if that's to fill your collection like I am doing, take note and join along. So when we left off last, like I said, it's been about a year. So this is what's in our challenge bucket. We're gonna hit a couple of thrift stores and hopefully we can find some stuff to sell in order to get some of these remaining Ninja Turtle figures that I need for my collection. The first stop we take is at a Goodwill, so fingers crossed that we find something good. All right, so over here we got a PS2 game. We got ATV Off-Road Theory 2. Let's check it out inside to see it's in there with the manual. Let's check out the, um, the disc shape. And then we'll check out on a price on this to see. Yeah, it's not bad, not too scratched. We're gonna have to pass on this. This is like maybe a $6 game complete. I think they're what, three or $4 here at Goodwill. Just Michael Jackson, this is it. All these two games you got Infinity and you got Just Dance 3, which I think are three or four bucks a piece, so nothing crazy there. I saw these Fantastic Four 1978 cartoons, so this is this one and this two. I've never seen these, they look bootleg, but I want to look into it. Over here, I found a slew of games. You got uh, <laughs> nothing, probably anything great. High School Musical, we fit Fit, Drill Studio, got Cars, Mod Nation, Racers on PS3. I'll look into that one. We got NHL 13, Pro Fishing, Dancing with the Stars. I oh, love there is GameCube. Hopefully the disc is, of course, not inside there. Gosh, that would have been good. That would have been a good hit. Did you have this, Jamie? Like I say, um, statue right here for three bucks. That might be a pickup. I think it sells around 15 to 20. But it seems to be in pretty good condition. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna pick it up. They did have Mortal Kombat 1 and Annihilation on DVD. Kind of cool. Little, give me a little nostalgia. A little nostalgia shot right there. I really wish that they had the disc for the Tony Hawk 3 game on the GameCube because that's easily a $15 to $20 game. I even checked the other cases surrounding that game and it was nowhere to be found. So um, if you're out there and you find a game without a disc, make sure you check the other game cases because you never know. It could be in a separate case, it, you know, um, it could be in a DVD case, but I wasn't about to go through all those freaking DVDs for a $15 to $20 game. So now we are headed to a couple of my favorite thrift stores. So fingers crossed one more time. Let's see what we can find. All right, so I did find this creature, Walks Among Us, from Sideshow from 2000. It's $8. I think it sells around 20. Plus there's a 10% uh, off sale here. So this might be a pickup. I did find this Biker Mice from Mars. Uh, Fred the Mutant, and his action still works. They're asking $10, 10% off. Uh, this might be a pickup. I did find that 
Spiker mice from Mars. So this is Mutant or Fred the Mutant and his action still works. Check that out. So this was made by Galoob back in the early 90s. Um, they had 10% off of this guy. So I got them a little under $10. And this sells for 20 to 25, just depending on the time, I guess. But not a bad pickup. So we got Biker Mice from Mars, Fred the Mutant. We are now headed to another local thrift store. I always forget about this one, but I've always had some pretty good luck at it. So let's check it out. And here's 50% off. Here's some Skylanders. So this would be like a dollar. Got a transformer here for $2. That would be a dollar. Don't know if that's complete, but I may take the risk. I found this big Yoshi plush, 450 branded. So that'll be like 225. I think I'm definitely gonna pick this dude up. Look at this. Freaking Ninja Turtle clock. Wow. It's not a price on it, but it's got the cord. It's freaking Leonardo. And I've never seen that, so definite pickup right there. All right, so they had 50% off of the entire store, which is amazing. I looked through all the games. Um, there was titles like Wii Fit and uh, Wii Ski and stuff like that. So nothing that would have really made a difference, but I did find this 20 inch uh, Yoshi plushie in very good condition. He sells anywhere between 20 to $30, which is a great pickup. And I got him for $2.25. Next, as you saw, we found that Ninja Turtle uh, 2004 alarm clock. And I checked it out and it works and functions. There was not a price tag on this, but this ended up being only $1.50 with 50% off of that. So I think this is a, a heck of a find. If not, it, it's one of the cooler finds that I've found in a while because 2004 TMNT, like, clocks i love the series and i love um little things like this so i think this sells anywhere between 15 to 25 dollars but i think i'm going to keep this because it's such a cool piece and it works too not like i'm going to use it for an alarm clock but uh cool piece nonetheless so 2004 mirage team nt alarm clock so guys that's going to do it for this video make sure you hit that subscribe button like the video and make sure you check out all of my other adventures from the action figure challenge down below. And hopefully I can do two or three of these a month, uh, just depending what I find. So guys, let me know down below what are some of the best pickups you found um, here recently at a really good deal. And uh, I would love to hear it. So until next time, peace.